Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Rob. Thanks for tuning into the Rob Some Knowledge YouTube channel. And um, first off, I want to say a happy new year to everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. Let's get 2019 started off to a good note. And uh, let's just hop into this video. Also, I do want to give you guys a quick shout out. Uh, we are almost at 1600 subscribers. And uh, I'm going to be doing a little video for that soon uh, I was supposed to do it at my thousand subscribers but that never happened so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a gift card giveaway and also going to be eating some super hot salsa so we will see how that goes but without further ado let's go ahead and open up our uTorrent and go ahead and get these faster speeds for you guys so we can be on our way in 2019 leave slow speeds in 2018 so pop open your uTorrent here as you can see we have uTorrent 3.5.5 so the first tweak that we are going to make is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up to our options tab and you're going to go to your preferences. Now from here you're going to start, you can skip these, you're going to start at your connection tab. You're going to want to put your connection port to 45682. Okay, and then these three boxes you want to check, enable UPnP port mapping, enable NAT PMP port mapping, and you want to check add Windows firewall exception. But you want to have this box unchecked because you don't want your port to randomize every time that you start uTorrent. Now from there we're going to go right underneath to the bandwidth section here. Now these top ones, most of the time they should already be at zero, but if you've altered them, go ahead and set them back to zero for unlimited. And you wanna have all these boxes unchecked. Sometimes apply rate limit to UTP connections will be checked, but you wanna go ahead and uncheck that for now. Now for the global maximum number of connections, you're gonna to wanna to set that to 2000. And for the maximum number of connected peers per torrent, you're setting that to 1500. Now for the number of upload slots per torrent, we're going to want to put that to 25 and check the box that says use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90%. Now from the bandwidth tab, we're just going to go right under again to the BitTorrent tab. Now here we have a bunch of basic BitTorrent features that you can toggle on or off. You're going to want to check enable DHT network. You want to check enable DHT for new torrents. Check enable local peer discovery. Check enable bandwidth management UTP. You want to check enable UDP tracker support. You want to check ask tracker for scrape information. You want to check enable peer exchange. But you want to uncheck limit local peer bandwidth and you want to uncheck enable altruistic mode. From there, for the protocol encryption, you want to set the outgoing to enabled and check allow incoming legacy connections. After you're done in the BitTorrent section, you're going to skip the transfer, the transfer cap and you're going to come down to the queuing section. Now, for the queuing preferences, we're going to set our maximum number of active torrents to 100 and your maximum number of downloads to 50. Here is where you set your seeding goals. Um, just do at least 100%. I tend to do between 100 and 150% seeding. Make sure you also uncheck this box if you're trying to prioritize your download tasks. And you can also down here, you can set a upload rate for when you reach the seeding goal. But anyways, that doesn't really matter for us here. We're going to go ahead and go to the advanced tab. We just have a few more settings to change and then we're going to be all set to go blazing fast speeds, guys. Just wait. You cannot believe it. So underneath the advanced tab, we're going to set BT allow same IP to true. This is normally set to false. Set it to true. Hit the apply button and then you're going to scroll down and you want to find the thing that says DHT.rate. Set this to two, hit set, and then hit apply. And then the last setting that we need to find is the RSS.update interval. And here we go here. This is normally set to 15. You want to set that to 20. Hit set and then hit apply. And you are good to go, guys. Now, with these settings, I've seen from 
getting around one megabit per second all the way up to 10. So this can be up to a 10 times increase on your speed. It could be more or less for you. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what your before and after speeds were and also let me know what country you guys are downloading from. If you haven't checked out my other videos, make sure you do because one of these videos will not work for everybody. You may have to experiment with some of my other videos and see if that works for you. Other than that guys, like I said, Let's start off this new year great. Please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to really get to 5,000 this year. We've already hit the 1,500 mark. And I'm really going to crank out some content this year. Some good videos coming out. I'm trying to get to 5,000 by the end of this year. I know you guys can do it. And let's go ahead and get some likes on this video. If this helped you out. If it didn't help you out, you can hit the dislike button if you like. But please let me know what the problems you are having. Anyways, guys. I'm out. I'll talk to you later.